Hey Deckers, what an awesome update I've got for you today. This is an exciting one for me and I really hope that you guys like this one as well. Steam OS 3.32 is now live. This has hit the stable channel so you can go and download this right away. There is so much to this, a lot of stuff around the docked mode and general fixes. I'm not going to go through every single one because there's just an absolute ton of stuff that most of you probably won't even realize was an issue major quality of life improvements but there's a few here that i really want to call out to you guys because i think that they are quite a big deal and you can let me know in the comments below if you think that i've missed something that is worth shouting out first off a massive change in the haptics mode during boot you wonder why your steam deck shaped like an earthquake when it started up this has now been fixed so your Steam Deck no longer vibrates like crazy if you reboot it or start up from shutdown. Minor thing but huge when turning it on late at night. Next up a fun one, I absolutely love this. Steam Deck boot videos are now a thing. I put a guide at the end of this video if you want to actually set this up yourself but after seeing the Futurama one in the Reddit in the beta channel I'm massively impressed that they've put this into the mainstream release and made it much, much simpler to do. Next up, Red Dead Redemption has had some major fixes, as well as in docked mode, the output mode being so much clearer. Just look at how good this looks now on the Steam Deck. I'm gonna be doing a best settings Red Dead Redemption guide very soon, but I haven't quite got round to it yet. So do keep an eye out for that. But Red Dead Redemption 2 is now fixed on the Steam Deck. And with Proton Experimental, there's a few other enhancements in there as well that really make this game as smooth as butter. So next up, you may have noticed it during the Red Dead Redemption 2 video, but it's going to be a lot more obvious looking at CSGO. Look at the movement here and see if you can spot a difference. I was so impressed I had to do a couple of 360s. Yes, this is game mode and using a keyboard and mouse. The issue that's fixed the view into 90 degrees when using a physical mouse in game mode has been fixed. This doesn't seem like a huge deal but if you were using or wanting to use a keyboard and mouse on Steam Deck before you would have to put it in desktop mode which is great but you don't get the nice overlay and game mode is just better. So you can now use a keyboard and mouse properly in game mode on Steam Deck and not have the issue of the view being restricted at all. As I said, one of the things you may have noticed is that the quality here when in dock mode is definitely improved. There are tons of quality of life improvements overall with docked mode and just the touch sensitivity and keyboard layouts, etc. So do check them out in the full description, which I'll link in the description below. But for those of you who want to set up your own custom bootloader, I'll link to the Futurama one that I got from the Reddit here as well. So you can go and grab it from the Reddit and give the guy a thumbs up. But you'll need to just switch to desktop mode. You can use any web.m file, so just make sure you can go and grab one. You can obviously create your own, but I'm going to use the Futurama one for demonstration here. So just download that somewhere easy to get to. You'll then need to go into your Steam root config folder. The UI overrides and movies folders don't exist by default, so you do need to create these. And the tilde here represents the home deck folder for your user. So you just make sure that you replace that with your path. So if you hit the home up in the places, you'll see that that first section is essentially what that tilde represents. So you can just swap that out. For some reason, using the tilde didn't work for me. You'll get a message to say that those don't exist. So just navigate back up to the config directory and then create a new folder for UI overrides. I still have my keyboard and mouse plugged in, so this made life a lot easier. And then inside the UI overrides folder, create the movies folder. Now you don't have to do this, but just to verify that I had the path all correct, I just repasted in the full path here. I'll leave the full path in the description as well in both methods. So if you can copy it from the description, it will be a bit easier. And then once you've verified that you've got that path correct, you can just go and copy and paste the movie file in. So once that's pasted into the movies folder, you just need to restart your Steam Deck and check that it works. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything that you think I've missed or want to shout out to others watching this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.